Hello. So last couple of days I've been playing with um, large language models and I came across this text generation web UI. Found it quite useful. Um, I'm not too familiar with Python, um, so I decided to rather run it in a Docker container. I did create a pull request and it got merged. So this video will run you through the setup of all of this. So this part, I'll just start with Ubuntu. So I am on a newly installed Ubuntu uh, 22. Um, basically has nothing installed, not even the NVIDIA SMI, just NVIDIA Detector. So the first step would be to just update the drivers. That's quite forward. So we just go to the uh, system a software update, it's called, yeah. Then we click on the settings part. And then to the additional drivers. So the first step is basically to install the proprietary drivers. So you need to make sure that you select one of these. And then I suggest to just get the latest version. So for me, that, that would be uh, 5 to 5. And then it's just clicking apply and waiting for the drivers to be installed. So in the meantime, make sure that you have um, Git installed. So first we run an up update that will connect to the Ubuntu servers and get a list of packages. Then we up install Git. But that has to wait for the driver installation to finish. I think I might even have Git installed. No, I don't. So let's just wait for that. And once Git is installed, we can then clone the repository from Uberbooga. All right, so updates of drivers have finished. Now Git can be installed. And then we can clone the repository. So since we restart, uh, installed the drivers, we basically have to restart the laptop or computer. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so we are back. We can CD into the folder. And then let's see about the next steps. So we updated the driver and we rebooted. And now we can start installing the requirements. So we don't have Docker installed yet. Um, We're not going to install it like this. We are going to basically uh, run these commands. Just to explain you what they are going to do. Hold on. So this one is going to download a PGP key and then we are going to create a file in the etc app sources list folder that basically defines a new repository. And hold on, let me see. I ran the code command. I didn't run the code command yet. So let's grab the PGP key and then we are going to create a new file for a repository. So that will basically create this file, which points to the PGP key and defines the URL of the repositories where we can download the Docker packages. So then we just run a apt update. So it connects to those repositories and gets the information of what packages can be installed. And then we can simply run an apt up get install. So that will install Docker, Containerd, BuildX, which is like a cache plugin, and the Docker Compose plugin. OK, 
Okay, so we are still not able to interact with Docker because we need the permissions. So I can run a user mod to add myself to the Docker group. But we still cannot um, interact because we basically have to log out or apply the new group permissions. So I'm now going to run the new group command. And now I am able to interact with Docker. We can see there are no containers running, but we get a response from the Docker daemon. So then the next steps would be to do pretty much the same, but for the NVIDIA repositories. So we are going to grab a PGP key, and then we are going to run another echo command. And that now created an entry for the NVIDIA repositories, same deal, points to the PGP key. And this is the URL where we can grab the software from. We run an update. And afterwards we install the NVIDIA Docker 2 package and the NVIDIA container runtime. Those two basically contain all the software that we need from NVIDIA to work with Docker. And then we need to restart the Docker container so that it can read stuff like the NVIDIA container runtime. And that would be pretty much it for the initial setup on Ubuntu. Um, on Montaro, it's a little bit easier. You can use the MHWD one, and that will install you the proprietary drivers. And in Manjaro, we have everything pretty much packaged in those. And we just need to pretty much apply the same stuff to give us permission to interact with Docker and restart it as well. So then the next step would be for once you can start downloading the models. There are some links to the Llama ones. Well, there are links to links. And then all we need to do is to create our end file. So by default, the repository ships with a env.example. And those has the customizable settings. So in here, the first one, you basically can specify which um, version you want to use. So if you follow that link, you basically get a list of all the different GPUs. You would then go in there. And for example, I have a 2060 in this one. So I would select version 7.5. Um, there is a feature if you use the GPTQ and have some older cards like the K40s or something like that, that use, I think it's below version 6, you might have to um, basically use a older version of GPTQ. But for everything above 6, I think it pretty much works out of the box. The CLI arcs basically define the arguments that you pass on when you would start the application inside the container. There are a few examples on how you could pass on different flags with it and load it in 4 bits or load it in 8 bits. And then the remaining section is just um, defining the, the ports that are used by the interface on the host and inside the container. And then the same if you want to enable the API extension. So we basically just create a copy of this and call it .env. And we do this so in the future, if there are updates and you want to git pull, then that would override our env file. So there is a env example. So if stuff changes, take a look inside that file if there are maybe new arguments you have to pass. But once we have all in place, everything we need to do is just type docker compose up and then wait. This is currently showing a warning still for the GPTQ version because that changed around a lot lately. That will most likely be removed soon. So you can just ignore that. Okay, so the loading has finished. It basically failed because I don't have any models in the models folder, but all you need to do is go into the models folder, place your models in here, and that should be it.